How's it going guys? Kevin back here for another video. This time I'm going to explain the theory of alignment and teach you guys how it's actually not that hard. It took me a couple tries to get it right the first time, but I think once you guys see the way that I see it and you wrap your head around it, it'll make alignment much faster and much easier for you to do once you understand the concept of it. So let's take a look at my Muse here just to understand a couple of the key basics here. So in the back of the machine, I'm going to move the gantry out of the way here. In the back of the machine, behind this cover, is the laser tube. That is going to fire to the left here into the corner of your machine. And what you can see back there is the red dot diode. You don't actually see the laser because it's not firing. Um, and you actually can't see that beam unless you had some smoke or something else um, in here. But there's a beam combiner that is this mirror, one-way mirror on the right here. Um, that is where the red dot diode here fires into and that allows the laser to fire through it and then fire into what we call mirror number one in that corner where you can see the red dot diode. Now that's the first mirror that you're going to be adjusting for your alignment and then we have mirror number two is under here and that is actually attached to the gantry so when I move the gantry back and forth that mirror will actually slide up and down with the head here. It doesn't go left to right but it slides up and down riding inside of that gantry. So you can see that. Then we have mirror three. Mirror three is actually right on the inside here. Sorry, it's a little hard for you guys to get in there. But I'll just move this slowly. So you can see that mirror three is right here. That is gonna be your mirror that essentially controls how centered your beam is coming out of the nozzle of the laser coming out underneath here. So I'm gonna jump over to the other room I've made some cutouts to sort of make this a little bit bigger so it's a little bit more obvious um, what's going on and you don't have to worry about all the complexities of the machine here and help you guys understand the concept of how to align your laser. And this is going to be true for your Muse Hobby Laser, your Pro Series, and really any sort of basic laser that uses this general layout of three mirrors um, to combine the beam and get your, uh, your cutout at the end or engrave or whatever you end up doing um, with that laser. So let's jump over to the other room and I'll walk you guys through it. Alright, so we're back here in the other room. Please excuse uh, the cardboard here and everything, but I'm hoping that this helps uh, transfer the concepts and helps you guys understand it a little bit. So our water bottle back here, this is going to be our laser tube for now. Uh, and then each of our cardboard is going to be one of the mirrors here that is in your laser. So we'll start off with this first mirror. Uh, and this is the beam combiner. Uh, essentially what this does is this combines your red dot diode and your laser. So this is, you can think of this as a one-way mirror. This laser is going to just travel completely through this and then it's going to bounce off of this mirror. However, the red dot diode is coming in from this angle. It's just going to bounce off this because it's a one-way mirror, bounce off here and that's where it combines into the one beam so that you have a visible laser beam that you can see which is the red dot. So for the sake of argument here and illustration I have this tube which is going to be uh, essentially the laser beam so laser beam is just going to travel straight through the beam combiner then it's going to bounce off your first mirror and come out to your second mirror here so the second mirror as I showed you earlier this is actually going to slide up and down with the gantry so the key thing that you're trying to do when you align this is if you have your beam here I'm going to back up because this tube's a little, a little longer than I uh, had anticipated. So if you have your beam here and it's coming off of that first mirror up at an angle like this, well, when your gantry moves all the way down to the bottom, this beam is not actually going to be hitting that mirror. So what you need to do is you need to angle that mirror down so that this beam comes down lower and it lines up with that. But more than that, what you're specifically trying to do is you're trying to make this perfectly uh, horizontal with uh, the gantry essentially so that way um, if this for example is sitting flat against the floor no matter where no matter where I slide this mirror it will always hit in the same spot on the mirror so the key thing to, to realize there is it doesn't matter if this is always hitting on the bottom or always hitting on the top no matter where you slide that mirror it will always hit in the same place and that can be aligned and you can have successful results with that situation. So you don't need to worry about getting this 
in the perfect center of mirror two, you just need to worry about getting it consistent. So that's why in the video when you see how to align it, you'll start up here, you'll make sure that you can get a dot on your mirror here, and then you'll basically, they want you to move it all the way out here, but if you're not getting a dot out here, you can move it in here and then slowly dial it in until you work your way all the way out to the end. And then ideally, when you fire your laser and do that test fire on the thermal paper, you'll get a spot here, and then when you move it all the way down here, you'll get that spot in the same exact location. And what that essentially says is your beam is perfectly level and perfectly horizontal here across that entire gantry motion, so that way it will always hit in the same spot. Now, similar to that, when you align your mirror too to your mirror that is actually on the, the center of the gantry, right, uh, right above your lens, this is a similar philosophy here. So again, if your beam, for example, is aiming up, when the laser comes over to the left side of the bed here, this is aiming and it's pointing up, it'll still be able to hit that and it'll likely still come through the nozzle and you might get some, some cutting, you might get some engraving in that area of your bed. However, when you slide this away, if the laser is pointed up, it's going to be missing that and you're no longer going to get good cuts and you're going to get inconsistent results. So same as the other one, you want to make sure that this beam is perfectly level coming off of this. So what you're going to do again is have this mirror as close as possible, see where it marks on your thermal, thermal paper, then you're going to move this to the other side of the bed and fire that again. Ideally you want those two dots in the same exact spot <clears throat> and again the key thing to remember here is it doesn't matter if your beam sort of on the ground here or if it's up in the top or in the corner as long as it is consistently hitting this mirror in the same location whether you're on this side of the bed or on the far side of the bed that will get you the result that you want because as long as that beam is level you're going to get that beam sent to that laser and you're going to be able to put it through to the lens to have a successful successful working laser. So once you're able to get those spots, um, and one other note in there, if, if your spot on the far right corner of your bed is a little bit lighter, that's okay as long as it's in the same location. In some cases, different lasers uh, will react differently and some don't mark um, nearly as distinctly as others. So once you've aligned your first mirror, your second mirror, now you're ready to align your third mirror. So if you've done everything correctly up until this point, you'll have one dot that will continually be in the same spot on this mirror no matter where this gantry moves in your laser. So now the point of this third mirror is to get this lined up with the lens underneath it. So if you think of this masking tape as my lens, which is going to focus that laser beam, this is what's then going to go through your nozzle and shoot through the bottom of your nozzle and then eventually engrave or cut or whatever you're doing with your laser. So the point of this mirror is to center that beam in here. So once you angle this such that you get your laser firing in the center here, that will get it so that your laser is going to be cutting the most reliably, it's not going to be clipping on the nozzle, you're not going to be losing any power because of that, um, and you're going to get a good functioning laser. So the other thing to note here um, is you could have this sort of canted at some crazy angle because you previously aligned it and it's always hitting in the same spot you will be able to hit that in the same location every single time and you won't have to worry that this is that your laser is not going to be working properly so the, the last thing here that you're going to look at is um, underneath the tube here so the last thing that you're going to look at is coming out of your nozzle on the bottom so you'll put a piece of thermal paper, paper under your nozzle and when you fire it, you're going to expect to see a dot right in the center. Now, if you don't see a dot in the center, the good thing is you can just go back to your third mirror on top and you can tweak that until you get a dot in the center. And honestly, I think that is the easiest way to get your third mirror lined up versus putting the thermal paper on top of your lens. If you put it in the nozzle and you just make sure that you're getting a, a dot directly in the center of your nozzle, that is another easy way if the thermal paper on top is not working out for you, that's another method you can try. Again, you want to make sure and verify that in the bottom right corner of your bed, on the bottom left, top left, and top right, you're always getting that, that dot in the same exact spot on your thermal paper. And that confirms that you've aligned the first mirror, the second mirror properly, and that the third mirror, um, it is just shooting consistently at that point because you've aligned everything else. So I hope that helps. Uh, you guys align your, your lasers and I hope it helps clear up some confusion now that you understand a little bit more about the concepts of it. If you have any questions or you're struggling, feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching.